Hello everyone, Brad Johnson here, and in this video I'm going to be talking about glimpses into fourth density. Now of course a few months ago Adronis came forward with a very profound announcement uh, that was uh, being broadcast on my good friend Rob Gauthier's uh, radio network, and basically that was talking about moving into fourth density. Uh, between the fall and winter time of 2016. And that was also stated was that a certain amount of people would be able to feel this shift take place. And that as we moved into fourth density, this is kind of like putting our foot in the door, just starting to get an understanding of how fourth density operates. And just seeing like this imaginary screen door is closing behind us. And we have basically locked ourselves in to a fourth density concept or to a fourth density matrix. One of the aspects about how we're able to take a glimpse into fourth density reality is when we are starting to go into a nice relaxed meditative state, we're just feeling nice and calm, and we're just having the, the compulsion to go ahead and close our eyes. And as we close our eyes, we're now starting to see a reality unfold. It's just as vivid as this reality. We may start to see a beautiful landscape. We may be able to start to see, you know, beautiful clouds in the sky. We may actually start to see other beings come forward as well, too. And what this has been shared through sessions, because I've had quite a few people email me about this and saying that I just have this compulsion to go into a meditative state. Uh, even if I'm feeling busy, I just put everything down and I just go into this meditative state. And as soon as I do, I close my eyes and I'm seeing this other landscape. I'm seeing this another earth. What is happening? Well, this is us seeing our astral eyes open. And this is the prelude, this is the glimpse of us moving into a fourth density reality. So when we're starting to see this new earth, these landscapes, you know, this, this uh, flora and fauna, all of this beautiful nature surrounding us, even people as well too, we're basically living a simultaneous moment here, two particular lifetimes here and now. And what's the, what this is telling us is that we are moving from one particular physical reality into another physical reality that we're starting to see through our astral eyes. And that this is basically part of a transitional effect, moving into fourth density. So this has happened to me, again, personally, is I've just gone into meditation states, and I'm just closing my eyes, and I'm just seeing this beautiful foliage, uh, seeing this whole new earth, very, very different from the one that we understand right now and that we're basically feeling this astral pull, this type of astral projection coming through on a conscious level that is showing us the nature of this fourth density Earth that we're slowly starting to transition into. Now, as stated, it is going to take about 50 to 100 years before we are fully immersed into a fourth density reality. But basically, this is the precursor. This is like, again, stepping into the door, having your foot walk in and just basically uh, dipping your toe in the pond as it relates to fourth density. And when you're feeling this particular glimpse, when you're feeling this precognitive energy that's showing you another particular reality, that is that of Earth, and you're feeling just this incredible beauty that is all around you, and you're not attempting to give any intention to receive this, this is just coming to you. This is a sign, again, that your fourth density body is now merging together with your third density body. And through that fourth density and third density integration, you're starting to develop a new type of behavior. Now, a lot of this new behavior is what we could say as withdrawing from a lot of the physical density responsibilities in that way. Not feeling that you really belong here anymore in the third density. That there's just a sensation that you're feeling of saying that you know, I just don't want to get involved with so much of the social programs here anymore. I don't really want to be involved too much in the city life. I feel that I'm at home a lot more with nature, or I'm going to go somewhere a lot more quieter, and I'm going to feel a lot more appreciative in my own company, or the company of people who are also of like-minded to me. I'm not really going to go through this dance anymore as it relates to people who are so hard-coded into a third density mainframe. That's really just something that's not appealing to me anymore. 
So this new behavioral aspect is starting to develop. And again, this is all part of that early bird jump into fourth density. And again, we're going to be experiencing this for quite some time because we're still just moving and transitioning ourselves into that full fourth density uh, full aspect. So again, more is starting to unfold, but again, we're just starting to become these early birds. We can look at now this Earth being that of a fourth density compliant planet and that we are becoming a fourth density compliant race. But again, not everybody is going to make it through this early bird shift. And that's not to say anything in regards to a doom and gloom. It's just those who are very, very receptive, who have worked to a certain point. And through that particular point, they are, still, they are now starting to see and experience this kind of dual life experience. They close their eyes. They feel this immersion into a whole new earth into something that's just unspeakably beautiful. A whole new earth that is just ripe with nature. Again, the people that may be there as well too. We may not even know about who these people are, or we may have a familiarity. And it may be, again, best friends or family that we're actually seeing, but we're seeing a very much uh, stronger luminescent side to them, rather than what we could see as a very dense version of them in that way. So there's been quite a lot of people that have come to me and saying that, uh, yeah, I'm experiencing this kind of dual... Uh, lucid experience between my own physical body and what's happening when I close my eyes. And again, I'm not thinking of anything. This is just coming to me in a state of precognition. And I said, yes, that's you opening yourself up to your multidimensional self. That's your own astral body telling you this is you moving into that reality as a fourth density being. There's still going to be some transitions that will take place, but now you're getting a glimpse of fourth density. Now you're getting a glimpse of what it is to exist in a type of astral reality. So this is you being the early bird. This is you starting to move into that transitional cycle. Now I know there may be some questions in saying, well Brad, I haven't really sensed this yet. I haven't really felt this yet. Is there some way that I can pose this upon myself? Well again, you can always go into meditation states. You can always uh, ask for assistance through your guides and through guidance and seeing what comes your way. But a lot of what happens here and what's being discussed in this video is more of a precognitive flow. And again, this really just comes to the point where you're feeling very, very comfortable. You're feeling very, very uh, compatible and uh, uh, complementary to your current state of being. And through this current state of being, you're just adrifting, you're floating yourself in this type of energy. You just have this compulsion to just put everything down, go into the state, and just close your eyes, and just feel this vision come into your life. But it feels very, very real. It feels like, again, you're just immersing yourself into another earth. So again, this has been happening to me now for the past few weeks. I've just started beginning back into more of my magical arts, a lot more, you know, casting spells, loving spells, illuminating spells, and uh, really just stepping up the clairvoyance a lot more, and I feel it's become a lot more intensified. And just being able to live, even if it's just for a few moments, in this beautiful planet. And to me, that's a glimpse of our fourth density Earth. That's us moving into that particular reality. But uh, yeah, there's still a lot more uh, places to go. There's still a lot more energy that needs to come upon the planet. But we're starting to see this glimpse, this peak of a fourth density life coming together. Uh, we may even, again, have this so intensified that we're just living two lives. We're living a life here in this physical space, and we're also simultaneously seeing our astral selves connecting with the fourth density Earth. And we're basically creating that multitude. That has certainly been my feeling uh, ever since Adronis made the announcement, is just feeling that there's just this astral version of myself that's in this astral realm, connecting to this beautiful Earth, and is communicating with me at the same time. And so this is basically what is being meant when Adronis is saying that 2016 is the year that we're going to move into fourth density, because now it's starting to become a fourth density compliant planet. It is starting to be felt by quite a lot of people. Not everybody, though. And again, I really want to emphasize that. If we were to basically put a percentage on this, I'd basically say maybe only about 1% to 5% of people on the planet would actually be feeling this early bird shift of going into fourth density. 
it's not a big number. It's very, very early bird. Uh, but there's going to be a lot more cycles coming forward within the years ahead where more people will start to gravitate into this energy. But it is a very, very small number right now, and uh, it is looking to grow. But uh, from what Adronis has said, about the next 50 to 100 years, we're going to see a very, very deep, fulfilled immersion into fourth density, and not only becoming a fourth density compliant planet, but a natural fourth density planet, where we can actually say, okay, we're fully here. Right now, we're just kind of skimming around the surface of the ocean, right? We're not even diving into it. We're just kind of imagining as if we could walk on water and just kind of look down and say, huh, whatever's going on there is really, really cool. So we step to this little portal door and we're just kind of walking on the water. We can kind of dip our toes into it a little bit, but we can't really penetrate uh, going very, very deeper into the immersion because that's still a work in progress. But we've stepped into this reality. A screen door has, has uh, appeared behind us and we're looking back and say, oh yeah, yeah, there's still third density. Third density is still there. I'm still working with third density aspects. I still got these Swiss cheese holes in my reality for third density, and I'm working to have a full immersion into fourth density in the coming years and see exactly what happens through that way. But uh, yes, the whole idea is that the collective consciousness is always, always has been a multi-dimensional sphere as it relates to life. First, second, third, and fourth density now. So we're always going to have different levels as it pertains to density and to dimension, but all life is going to be sharing the same space. We just have different perspectives in regards to the orientation of ourselves as we enact ourselves in that space. And that is what's taking place right now. So again, from what Adronis has stated, that this cycle will come to a, I guess you could say an integration close. It's basically going to ground itself into our reality by the time of the winter solstice, perhaps a couple weeks before or a couple weeks after. And that this will be the end of the first cycle of blending this energy of fourth density into the planet and that there will be more uh, opportunities of cycles that will continue to open some doors to perhaps even getting us going a little bit deeper into fourth density. So again, very, very exciting time. Uh, just being able to experience this type of uh, precognitive vision of having these astral eyes open and seeing this other earth uh, has been uh, unbelievably exciting. So uh, for those of you who may have also had the same kind of vision, this is what you're going through. Multi-dimensional awareness, multi-dimensional transitioning, moving between one body and another and sharing that same perspective. So again, kind of like living two dimensional lives. It's quite fascinating. But anyways, this was the information that I wanted to pass on through this video about glimpses in the fourth density. So we'll see what 2017, 2018, and moving all the way up into 2024 through the span of change, what it brings us as we continue to go through this process of transitioning into fourth density as we are now a fourth density compliant planet. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to check out realitywhisperer.com for sessions, courses, and free media, plus a lot more. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll speak to you again in another perspective of the now. Take care. Goodbye.